Alright, and welcome back to the Ashfork settlement. Uh, today's episode will be discussing Murray. Now, Murray is the uh, settlement chief. He's the guy who brought everyone over 12, 13 years ago uh, to start building this settlement in this particular land. And uh, he's been on a bit of a mooch uh, and uh, into the forest. And he has found what appears to be a fountain in the middle of the jungle. Um, so, ever the inquisitive sort, he has ordered some of his minions to uh, to do a bit of exploration around the site, find out what it is. Um, so he's going to be setting up a small encampment over on this side of the map um, just for a little bit of uh, exploration and to see what's going on with this unusual fountain so to help Murray out we're going to uh, we're going to get his minions moving over here and see what's going on where are we it's it's that well hidden I'm struggling to find it myself okay so let's bang some little shacks in for, uh, for your exploration team don't have to press the right key Now let's give them uh, one of our case tiny tiny barns. Uh, let's give them two, just in case we need to extend. And just in case they start to get a little bit hungry and we will throw in we'll throw in a hunter's cabin there yeah, around the back I think get a bit more leather coming in, a bit of venison for them to eat and yeah, maybe a gatherer as well. Just so they've got a bit of food over this side of the map. And let's give them a bit of road. So they've got a quick way of travelling over to this little explorer's camp out in the jungle and now we've got the seven labourers let's put a couple of builders in there as well let's get them building those houses find out what's going on as regards uh, the, uh, the town's maintenance not a huge amount going on uh, tailors and blacksmith I should say is moaning about tools, so let's increase that. Just over a thousand mark. And let's crank the speed up. Let's get them moving. We've got a trader. What was clay? Did you order that? Yeah, clay and sand. What are we actually doing for clay and sand? Um, bom, bom, bom. Clay. 294, 273, so yeah, we can probably buy some just to top us up. Okay, dismiss, thank you. Now they're probably going to need a stockpile, so let's throw one in down here. Just standard. A 
five by ten, and then let's let's clear some of this just to give them some resources over this side of the map. As I say, very curious about how this fountain came to be here. What, if any, type of properties the water holds. So, let's prioritise some housing. Okay, what trade? Uh, what have you got? 50 stone. It's not really a huge amount, is it? Let's, um, let's just review. Uh, there's nothing I want from here, so you can go away. Still waiting on those cows. In fact, I might actually use one of these specialised traders. Here we go. This little cube symbol. Seeds and livestock. Swing on this side of the of the stream. Yep, let's put you there. Just pause you for a second. And then we'll get a, a little bridge. Join them, joining them here. Just going to clear a little bit of this, so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. So you're saying you're reaching your limit on fuel. So that's brought that to fifteen thousand. Make sure the charcoal mm -hmm. continues to roll in. So. We're not getting a huge amount of stuff as yet, but as I say, as we increase our population, we can increase the amount of workers in the brickworks and the, uh, the glassworks and the fuel uh, refinery as well, actually. And how are we doing for furnace fuel? 280, yes, we're okay so far. Four and a half stars, we've dipped a little bit. Yeah, still okay for everything else at the moment. Food's just, well, food's always going to be fine for the time being. Yeah, we're, uh, we're using enough logs, I think, obviously, with the charcoal and the firewood production. Um, there's a lot of uh, logs being used, so we do have we do have another mod that allows us to add some resources to the map. Now let's see if we can find it. There we go. Grow your own resources. So um, dense tree shack. Well, let's just. Let's just throw one of these down here on this little peninsula. Yeah. Just there. And we'll see if that can... Uh, I haven't really messed around with these grow your own resources before, so I'm interested to see how they work. But as I say, we're stretched pretty thin at the moment. I'm just going to put another, a couple of bills in there. And I'm going to throw a prioritisation over this. Just because I'm keen to see what it does, what it looks like. How are we getting on over here? So we've got a couple of houses built. Tiny barns, a bit of food in, so that's good. Let's prioritise this. Just 
just so we can get our, uh, our resources kept on this side of the map. Come on, chop chop. Let's get it done. Okay, what have you got? I have 50 again. It's, it's just pointless. So dismiss. Until we get a uh, higher population. Traders will just bring us small amounts of, of whatever we uh, request. So, so we've just got to wait a little bit for for the amounts that they bring to to grow or to be useful to us. Okay, this guy's coming along. Uh, let's, let's give him a tiny shark as well. If, oh, a tiny shark, yeah, exit. Too sure how many people you can put in these shacks. Uh, put a couple of houses just in case there's three or four slots available. Uh, hospital. Don't need anyone in the hospital. You only really need someone in the hospital when you, you get a disease or a, some sort of infectious notification, and then just make sure you put people in straight away. But there's no point in keeping people in there all the time. Um, it's just a waste of, of labourers. Uh, no food. Don't need food. Herbs coming along well. I think we m might be struggling with just one people. They're supposed to have seven in here, so... Well, they're producing 450... 400, so yes, it's not bad. We can always increase the, the people working in, in these two fields, as I say, as the population grows up, grows bigger. Da, 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 da. So, just fill these bits in while we're waiting for our uh, houses to build a bit further over. block of green that they're working on. Okay. Coming along nicely. Men uh, doing their research. Okay, so already one of our houses is burnt down, so it's, it's never good. Um, they're not that far from from the river, I suppose they're far enough. Not many people up here, so 
Let's throw in... Well, just a future proof. I'm just trying to put it happening again. And then, uh, when the, when you get a fire, it, it knocks the timer down. So I'm just going to bang that back up. I hope it doesn't burn all of my buildings now, which it seems to be doing. So that's great. Let's have a look over here and see what's going on. Uh, dense tree shack. Um, oh, producing logs though, very good. And you can put four people in, that's nice. We should take it down to two for the time being. Um, Forrester, uh, add two more in there. Let's get some more logs flowing in. I just missed the trade, haven't I? All of them are barring one. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Alright, well you can build it all again. Oh, cracking. That's uh Probably a bit of overkill in terms of the uh, the amount of houses I've put down, but as I say, I'm, I'm wanting to try and grow the population, and it's uh, it's always a bit difficult in the early stages. Yeah, homes that he wants. So we've got more homes and families at the moment, so I want to keep it to that sort of ratio. Silkworms. Yeah. I don't know why buy them. It's the eggs that we want. So, can we get them from this guy? Mm. Silkworm eggs. There we go. Okay. Every visit. Dismiss. Okay. So if we can just get like sort of 30 or 40 of those eggs, it's enough to to build uh, three or four silk one huts, silk worm huts, I should say. And uh, and then you can use those huts to create more eggs if you want to expand um, on making your silk. Okay. So we're pretty much getting nowhere fast in uh, in this episode. Um, Murray's labourers have uh, proved to be. Pretty lethargic uh, in terms of getting all this rebuilt. So, come on, Murray's men, let's crack on. Now, uh, we've got bog, stone, and iron over here. So, let's scroll it all. You know what? I think I'm just going to uh, time lapse this, get this built. Continue on. Okay, so I, uh, I decided not to time lapse just to uh, just to edit out uh, the build because it's taking too long. Um, so yeah, let's put a uh, let's put a guy in this in this farm stance. He's bringing in fish. Put a guy in. See what he does. 
but obviously I'm going to have to uh, turn the market off over here. Um, now we did get a outbreak of diphtheria, uh, so I put a labourer into the into the hospital. So only sort of 16 years in, um, no nomads, and you know we've already got disease. So as mentioned previously, it's always a good idea to uh, to make sure you've got that that hospital in your town uh, sooner rather than later. Um, how's this tree guy going? What's, uh, what's happening over here? Okay, so yeah, it's definitely getting more dense. Uh, around the shack, so it'll be interesting to see. Uh, monitor that as it goes along. Uh, well, they're cooking the gas on the old fuel front, aren't they? It's, uh, let's find that up to 20,000. Okay, very good. Um, okay, so we've cleared a, a bit of the trees away here, so we'll throw in. Just a little bridge. Just there. Um, yeah. And we'll give him a little house. For this particular trailer. We might put a couple of houses along here. stick with uh, some wooden houses on the back just so it's in keeping with the theme okay so yeah that'll help to spread the pot um, yeah you can uh, start getting built as well okay so it looks weird doesn't it just the the hunter without the other section. Okay. What are you bringing? Fine wood herbs. Iron tools, there we go. So so good to know. Um, you can get tools delivered from this little this little market store. I did like the look of it as well, it's very nice. Okay, so anyway. Murray and his men. Let's explore a man. Let's uh, let's prioritize rid of some of this. Some of this uh, foliage from around the uh, mysterious fountain. Really didn't take long at all to build, did it? Right, okay. Um, okay, down to one guy. We'll stop you up. Uh, yeah, you see, no, no minimize option. So, anywho, uh, what we're going to give him loads of firewood. So, I'm going to put 1500 in there. Um, fish. Yeah, it's just emergency thousand fish. I think I'm going to increase the, uh, the the limits here as well. So 15 for for all the traders. I mean, it can be good to to have a few traders, um, especially at the start. Just because you're getting lots of options, lots of traders coming, it starts to get annoying later on. Though, when you're you're trying to concentrate on a on a section of build, and you're constantly getting pinged. Um, so, but for now, uh, hopefully, uh, this guy should bring us some livestock and some more seeds. So, we'll let him, him roll on with that. Okay. So I'm just going to uh, wait until this is cleared and then we'll, uh, we'll move forward. 
Okay, so we've cleared some of the area around this unusual fountain. Um, the explorers have been doing a little bit of research and uh, concluded that the, uh, the water from the fountain uh, has some unusual properties. Uh, when drunk, it will actually extend your life, pretty much like a, uh, a fountain of youth. Uh, the only caveat being that uh, the length of life that you lead is dependent upon how fast you move. So, if you're stomping around like these guys, getting stuff shifted, and you're going to die a lot sooner than if you were saying, just mooching around nice and slowly. So, obviously Mori realising the importance of this uh, wants to protect the fountain. Uh, he doesn't want any random indigenous species coming across it and, uh, and drinking all its water. So, he's instructed his explorers to uh, build some sort of protection for the fountain. And he's also rethinking his plans on uh, on Ashvalks as well, because it's um, it's quite a stomp, really. Um, and obviously, he doesn't want to be get uh, he doesn't want to be uh, getting caught up in this uh, dying early scenario by uh, stomping across the uh, stomping across the plains. So yeah, he's uh, he's going to protect it and uh, possibly even move his settlement closer to it. So. Uh, so he doesn't have far to walk, and he can go at his leisurely pace. Okay. Um, so we'll get the explorers on with that. Uh, what else? What else? Let's see. Look at this. That's pretty cool. Hugely dense area of wood here. How much is it producing? So we've got two guys in here, and they're producing 273. Not bad. What do these guys produce? 714. Okay, so yes, yeah, so it's it's bolstering a bit. It does make the uh, this area look a lot nicer with lots of trees. So, so yeah, basically uh, a few traders. In fact, we've got three traders here. So we'll pull to that, and then uh, when we come back, we'll check these traders out, and then we'll uh, we'll follow uh, Murray's explorers in their quest to uh, to protect the fountain. Okay, see you next time.